Hello guys, welcome to Technozar. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we are going to see some concepts and numericals on xenodiode as a voltage regulator. We know that xenodiode, xenodiode works only in reverse bias mode. Okay, and in the forward bias mode, forward bias mode, the diode is replaced by a curtain voltage that is a silicon. For silicon, it will be 0.7 volt, and xenodiode always works in a reverse bias mode. Okay. Because it it has increase in doping level, it has highest increase in doping levels. Okay, uh, so let's start the video. First, voltage regulator. I have uh, I have divided the voltage regulator designs into four cases. First case one is VI fixed and RL fixed. When VI is variable and resistive load is fixed. When VI is fixed, but resistive load is variable. And when VI is variable, the resistive load is also variable. Okay, in this video, I am uh, I am doing these two cases case 1 and 2 i'm explaining you these two cases case 1 and 2 okay so first we will see the case 1 when vi is fixed and the rl is fixed when vi is fixed the circuit will be the, like this so so the current through the resistor will be equal to iz that is the uh, zener current or ni current you can say plus the load current okay from here we can also write like the voltage across the diode will be V. We can also write V minus VI upon me R. Okay. In minus because opposite direction is equal to IZ is equal to IZ current plus IL is V upon RL. From this we can find IZ R standard current. Okay. This is how we can analyze our circuit when VI is fixed and RL is fixed in a standard diode as a voltage regulator design. Okay, uh, one important point is this, when we have to find the minimum power rating of Zener diode, for, uh, for minimum power rating is calculated only when VI is fixed, okay, only when VI is fixed, maximum power rate is calculated when VI is variable, okay, so uh, in this we can see case 1 and case 3, from case 1 and case 3 I can find the uh, minimum power rating and from case 2 and case 4 I can find the maximum power rating, how you can see in case 1, VI is fixed and case 3 is VI fixed. But in case 2 and case 4, VI is variable. Okay. Therefore, minimum power rating can be can be calculated uh, in case 1 and case 3 because VI, VI is fixed and maximum power rating will be calculated in case 2 and case 4 because VI is variable. Okay. Now, case 2 is when VI is variable and RL is fixed. When VI is variable, then VI will uh, vary from VI max, VI minimum to VI max. Okay. VI max or we can say 5 to 10 volt like this for example if VI is varying if VI is varying then IR uh, the resistive current will also vary resistive current will also vary how because we know that resistive current is VI minus this is V I am taking this as V VI minus V upon R if VI is varying then the resistive current will also vary similarly Zener current will also vary IZ minimum IZ max and IL will remain constant at the resistive load is also constant okay so i can write ir minimum is equal to iz minimum flowing through it and il plus il and similarly ir max is equal to iz plus il okay iz minimum can also be written as ir minimum is vi minimum minus v upon r okay like this minus vz upon rl is il similarly we can write for iz max also okay these are the current equations for the zener diode as a voltage regulator in case two vi variable and rl is fixed okay now we will do some do two questions based upon these case one and case two okay so let's start the question question number first in the circuit shown below calculate zener current is iz and the minimum power rating p minimum of zener diode and milliwatt respectively first of all we have to find the zener current iz okay i am assuming that the zener diode is off therefore i can find the open circuit voltage across the zener diode okay so i can redraw the circuit here 100 ohm this will be open circuited and this will be 100 ohm and this is also 100 ohm and this is 10 ohm okay then the voltage across zener diode that is v here this v this v when diode is off okay when diode is off uh, by applying voltage dividing rule here into 10 
100 upon 200 into 10. This will cancel with this 10 upon 2 that is 5 volt. Okay, when Zener diode is off, the voltage across the resistance will be 5 volt. Okay, this will 5 volt. And when Zener diode is on, the Vz is equal to 4 volt given in the question. Now, I am applying nodal here. On applying nodal here, uh, or KCL, IR is equal to, I can apply, IR is equal to the current flowing through the resistive circuit will be equal to the current flowing through the IZ plus load current. Okay, IZ plus IL. I can also write IZ is equal to IR minus IL. IR minus IL. IR will be V minus VZ upon R minus IL will be V upon RL. Okay, V minus VZ is 10 minus, that is VI, sorry, VI here. 10 minus 4 upon R is 100 minus V is 4, uh, V is 5 that we have find out. Okay, V is 5, 5 upon R resistive load will be 100. 10 minus 4 is 6 upon 100 minus 4 upon 100. This will come out to be 200, 2 upon 100 which is equal to 20 milli ampere. Okay, 20 milli ampere is the Zener current flowing through the Zener diode. Okay, to find the minimum power rating, minimum power rating, we know that VI is fixed that is ZL should be equal to infinity or RL the resistive load will be infinity okay uh, if the resistive load will be infinity then the then the load will be open circuited 100 ohm the current flowing through will be IR this will be 10 volt this will be the VZ that is the Zener diode voltage VZ equal to 4 volt this is IZ and this is open circuited okay RL equal to finite when VI is fixed we have to find the minimum power rating minimum power rating when IL equal to 0 okay so I can say that IR is equal to IZ here IR will be equal to IZ because the load current is zero therefore IZ is IZ can IZ, uh, IZ equal to IR then IR is equal to 10 minus 4 upon 100 that is equal to 6 upon 100 which is equal to 60 milli ampere 60 milli ampere is the Zener current or the resistive current now we have to find the minimum power rating across the Zener diode that is given by VZ into IZ VZ is given as 4 volt and IZ is given as 60 milli ampere that is equal to 60 into 4 is 240 milli watt will be the correct answer here. Okay, this is how we can find the minimum power rating across the Zener diode. This question is based upon case 1 where VI is fixed and RL is also fixed. Now case 2. In case 2, you have to, uh, in case 2, question number 2, the Zener diode in the regulator circuit shown in the figure has a Zener voltage that is VZ is equal to 5.8 volt and the Zener IZ max we have to find the current IZ max okay the load RL is 1 kilo ohm the input range between 10 to 20 to 30 volt if we want to find IZ max we know that IZ max I have already written the current equation before IZ max is equal to IR max minus IL okay the IR max IZ max IL, IZ max will be IRX minus IL, okay. Now, IR max can also be written as VI max minus V upon RL, that is upon R the resistor, the resistor here, 1 kilo minus IL will be V upon RL, okay. VI max will be 30 maximum voltage, VZ will be 5.8 given in the question, resistive load is 1 kilo ohm minus 5.8 upon RL 1 kilo ohm. This will come out to be on solving 18.4 milli ampere. It is the maximum Zener current flowing through the Zener diode. Now we have to, this is, this is only the thing we have to find that is the maximum Zener diode current. Okay. Maximum Zener diode current that is IZ max. IZ max is equal to IZ max will is equal to 18.4 milli ampere. This is the correct answer.
If you have any doubt related to case 1 or case 2 in voltage regulator, you can ask me in the telegram group or in the YouTube comment section below. And uh, those who want to attempt quiz tournament, uh, please join our telegram group and also lots of questions are solving on daily basis. So please join it and uh, resolve all your doubts and revise your concept and brush up them before the exams of VSSC and HSFC. Okay. Uh, this is our part one of the video. After this, tomorrow, I will upload the part two of Zener Diode as a voltage regulator in which we will see the other cases when VI is variable and RL is fixed and VI is variable and RL is also variable. Okay. When VI is variable and RL is also variable. Okay. This we will see in the next video. Now, uh, all the very best. Okay. We'll see the next video. Mein.